Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stan Firm and who, what's this dishevelled character next to me? It looks like he's gone through hell. Hello, Gorilla Mezzo. Uh, hell, uh, indeed. Uh, what a harrowing week after my abduction last week. Uh, the tales of my rescue shall be sung in the future, uh, but not tonight because we have to get going on our very first fresh roster of Friday. Stand firm. The new era is upon us. We've got a hell of a card lined up tonight, and we're going to start it off with a Wem Dope Open Challenge. That's right. Our current champion, Night Demon, is issuing an open challenge. Anyone who wants a shot at the Wem Dope title can step right up, but I got to tell you, if they're going to step up, they're going against some of the best. The number one pick of Friday Stand Firm, Night Demon. Who is going to answer the call? Let's hear it in chat. Who do we think's coming out? Who's going to open the show? And will we crown a new champion right off the bat? We've got three weeks with that, with a, guaranteed with that uh, Wem Dope title before it goes on uh, offer at uh, Hell in the Cell. Uh, and if uh, who, whether it's Night Demon or someone else can retain it and keep that title on, stand firm. Boy, I'd appreciate that. But it might be making its way to Claw in a few weeks. So who is going to try and capitalize on this opportunity tonight? Let's see. It's Jojo. <laughs> Wait a second. That's Satterfield's music. It is Satterfield's music. This man has been on an undefeated tear through Friday Stand Firm in the last month completely dominant as, as you can see it yeah he had to win a few hook by hooker by crook but he won them all and uh you know i said he was gonna step up well those are some little feet taking big steps up <laughs> ken satterfield claim his first ever singles gold uh or singles championship we're gonna find out because here comes the wem dope champion the technical mastermind one of the best of all time in the jfw night demon <laughs> J5, you got that one in the nick of time. Huh? <laughs> Just yeah. after his music hit. Not that his music is very distinct. No, it's not, is it? It's not. Don't. Nope. Nope, we're not doing that on Stand Firm. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Claw exclusive. I don't want to... I don't want to steal away Jim's only gimmick. <laughs> well, we might get a new commentator who... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Double O Seven Tours might be the new commentator on Claw. <laughs> uh, that sounds unwatchable. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, he'll just go yesh instead of yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds great. Anyway, let's focus on uh, stuff that matters, and it matters tonight for Satterfield. The Wem Dope title up for grabs. Keep smelling like natural gas. Uh, like there's a leak or something, but I've got all my doors open, so it might just be the wind. Oh, I thought you meant your own farts. No, no, I mean like the kind that'll actually kill me. Oh. I thought you meant your own farts. Hey! <laughs> Uh, well, the that's not true, J5, because the additive that they put to it so that you can smell it does. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know, J. Okay, actually, boy, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, J5. Uh, it, sm it smells kind of like rotten eggs. <laughs> And here we go, title match underway. Satterfield answering the open challenge. The number one pick versus the number two pick of Friday Stand Firm. Whoa. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, well, Satterfield walked right into that one. <laughs> Snap next duplex. <laughs> Thanks, though. 
How can you not like I hope that? I, I, hope, I hope I talked over it. I, I just, I, I, I didn't care about it, and then it became too much, and that's all we're going to say about it for tonight. Mm. Oh, half, half Nelson suplex by Night Demon, taking out Satterfield, and this has been dominant by the champ so far, but Satter has weathered a lot of storms in the past. Let's see if he can do one more and get another huge win on his, uh, his uh, blossoming singles career. Yep. <laughs> Splatterfield, I like that. Well, speaking of Splatterfield, maybe come make it a comeback. No, of course, quickness of Night Demon technical mastery on display as always. But Satterfield does have a massive size advantage, and a big running knee could be the equalizer here. Yep. Now he's going to try and, yeah, take away one of those arms, try and prevent that zombie. I don't think anything can prevent the zombie, but, uh, you know, Satterfield's got to try something. <laughs> this uh, this match is falls count in the ring only. That isn't the technical term for it, though. <laughs> this is a falls count in the ring match only. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. He is a, he, Satterfield has a huge size advantage everywhere except the feet. <laughs> yeah, that's why he uses his knees predominantly, except for his finisher, which is in fact a kick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, we've we've gone through the physics of this. That smaller focused area puts all the pressure into a into one particular spot, so the force is greatly exaggerated when he makes impact uh, on the uh, snack mass. Yeah, it's like it's like a magic hammer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, or like, you know, just a regular hammer. Yeah, but a magic hammer is even more. <laughs> <laughs> so I was about to say jackhammer, I was like, wait, any hammer. And literally, <laughs> that's the point of hammers. <laughs> <laughs> and Satterfield calling it over, I think that might be a little... Oh! Oh my goodness, speaking of concentrated foot power to the face, kicking Night Demon up and over the ropes there. Yeah. <laughs> You're just making me want to do the <laughs> want to do the voice more and more. <laughs> I, I, I'd request that you don't. It, I know, it, but that's just making me want to do it more and more. I'm really trying. It's completely unrelated to everything that's going on in the ring right now and not that funny. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sorry. I'll try. It's fine. Now, yep, Satterfield having a little sit down, thinking about it, and coming right back in. Oh, but he bought a bit too much time for oh, Night Demon who counters and gets that beautiful German suplex. And look at this. Raw power just deadlifting the big man up and over and right back down where he found him. Oh, my God. And here we go. Could this be it? Night Demon reminding everyone why he's the number one and Satterfield was just a big number two. <laughs> he's done it. No! No! A little bit of resilience there. Satterfield baited us all. I thought he was done too. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy indeed. Here comes Satterfield right back and he's feeling it. The double wank. The double <laughs> wank is powering him up. He's going skiing. <laughs> Oh, he almost tripped. <laughs> uh oh, uh -oh Satterfield. Oh, Look Big out. Number two. Getting wrecked. Whoa, but he's got a big back body drop of his own to stay uh, on his feet here. <laughs> you could just you could just not do it, Steve. <laughs> there doesn't need to be a threat or anything. We can just <laughs> ignore that tired joke and uh, focus on fun stuff. And then you can do the tired joke 90% of the time during the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Other, other, than, other than the 60 minutes where I don't want to have to deal with it. Yep. That's good. <laughs> That's fair. That's quite reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh boy, Satterfield going top rope to the outside. Talk about a big number two drop in here. This one might clog the toilet. 
Oh! <laughs> and he missed wildly. Knight's oh, even stepping man. out of the way, and Satterfield might have just coffin dropped himself there. He's landed right on his coccyx. He doesn't look like a floater to me. <laughs> no, but here he comes. Somehow oh caught Knight Demon out to get himself into the ring here with authority. Oh, oh. no, maybe not. <laughs> oh. Knight Demon had recovered, though. A little bit of a flourish to get in the oh, ring, dear. and he paid for it, and this is probably GG. Second Zombie by Night Demon, and the Wemdub champion has just... Oh, no, he hasn't. No, Thought he had ended Satterfield's unbeaten streak, but he has not. Not yet, at least, but something's got to get on. <laughs> but up, but up, up. Fuck Night Demon. But up, but up, up. <laughs> Fuck him hard! Okay. <laughs> that was the Fuck Night Demon song for that moveset. Yep, thank you very much. It's brilliant. <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't even need Hellboy for good tunes, folks. <laughs> 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 oh, look at this! Satterfield! Cold no way! Him. No way! He put him out! Oh he my god! Him out. He just cold cocked him and knocked him out! <laughs> And he's just won the web dope title. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Took two zombies like it was nothing. Did more damage jumping outside of the ring than Night Demon did with any other move. My and he goodness. somehow hung on, punched him in the face, and fucking won. <laughs> what the hell? Unbelievable. Wait, was that a snack mass or was that just a. To my eyes, it was just a punch. I don't know. I thought it was a snack mass. Oh, maybe it was, and it's just that, yeah, I don't know what I saw, but yeah, that snack mass, uh, overwhelming Night Demon's defenses there, proving it might be the most deadly finisher in the JFW, at least in uh, Stand Firm, because we no longer have Tony plays poorly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was a snack mask. Yeah, he's got two, though, hasn't he? He's got two variants of it. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. It was, it was Night Demon says, okay, mm. yeah. Well, commiserations, Night Demon. What a run. Got himself uh, a number one uh, pick. But now Satterfield going to be carrying this title <laughs> into the future. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely stunned by that f finale there. I thought I, get, I had given Night Demon up for dead halfway through that match. Unbelievable win there. <laughs> and next up, folks, some tag team action. The the winner three fives, you know they let it, they let everyone here on stand firm down with that pathetic showing uh, during the draft match where J five abandoning Skrull. We're gonna see if we can get him back on track with some uh, fresh meat, as it were, and it's uh, it's some spoiled ham. That's right, folks. It's uh, none other than uh, the long-awaited return of. Uh, uh, ham, rude ham. <laughs> rude ham, yeah. Only hams, maybe. Which, whichever one they are. Uh, old, only hams, whatever they are. <laughs> Fault Force and Sean A have returned as a tag team. Two on two tag team action coming up next. Glorious. <laughs> Fuck off, J5. <laughs> 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 oh, <dude. laughs> Oh boy, well Satterfield now, the the responsibility of that title falls on his shoulders because in yeah, we've got two shows left before Hell in a Cell and again, the the Wemdope title will will be defended across brands every pay per view, so Claw will be putting someone up to try and claim that title from Satterfield. Point and out. uh I sure would like to have more matches like the one we just saw. Uh, on uh, Friday night stand firms in the future. So I hope Satterfield can hang on to that title. Yep. But here we go. Brace yourselves. The winner three fives have arrived. And if you didn't know, folks, their name is a derivative of Skirmetsu's <laughs> accomplishments in the in the SFL. The winner three, the winner five, also now the winner eight. But that was uh, that happened after this tag team had come together. 
And also a play on the name Johnny Fiev. So it's the winner three fives, just in case anyone needed me to talk a little bit more on Skuro's accomplishments there. Thanks very much. That was <laughs> Hello, the, Tom. That was really required. <laughs> oh, Tom Schnitz. Tom Schnitz representing Le Bread Mask, one of the premier plim plom plusers in Friday night. Stand firm. Love to have the Friday fuckboy on our roster. Yeah. Oh, what God. the fuck was that? <laughs> that was an elephant a... orgasm? <laughs> that was me trying to talk while yawning. Didn't work, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out so well. <laughs> I believe Tom Schnitz is playing Gadanik, um it, it, in the SFL in a few hours in about, uh, in about oh, four and a half hours time. Oh, interesting. A two-time winner and a one-time winner facing each other. <laughs> That's as many SFL wins as you... Uh, as that match you had a couple days ago against Skur, where the three-time winner faced the zero-time winner. <laughs> yep. It's a big match. Yeah. Do you you uh are you thinking about streaming that? I was considering it. Yeah. Interesting. I might I might be on board to. Uh, I mean, Nick might. Well, maybe not me. Maybe. maybe I'll ask Skur to hop in my place. No. He knows a little bit more about the the <laughs> SFL as you can imagine. Yeah. Nick might just do it anyway, though, might he? I, I oh realized. yeah, that's true. Too. Just oh yeah, is it normal next streaming time? Well, it's two, so two for me, and he normally does it half three. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that's normal next streaming time. Yeah, he probably just do it himself. Oh boy, I knew I knew what I was getting into when I put the order in to draft these two, but uh, <laughs> they were kind of a last ditch. I was like, I wanna, I wanna make sure that Monday Night Claw does not have that tag team division that it thought it was getting. And I think I did a pretty good job. I'm curious to see how they're going to reshape their tag division because they got the titles, but I got most of the teams. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Quite the quite the shakeup thanks to the brand split. I, I mean, my guess is my guess is Mr. Jim McMahon will just throw the title on uh, Jimmy Fantastic and Wanger and call it a day. Well, I, I guess you didn't see Monday Night Claw then, eh? Uh, I did not. Uh, no, I did. I, I saw most of it. Well, it there was, was there was a must have been forgettable. <laughs> there was a stipulate. There was a six man, every man for himself between three oh, tag that's teams. Right. Yes, and there were, there I were did. strict I mean, instructions not to work together, and the, they they worked together twice. The glorious ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you forgive me. I was kidnapped the entire week. So oh yeah, fair enough. I did. I wasn't able to watch. Skuro told me about it though, uh, <laughs> just before I came into the booth here. Good. And here we go, Fall Force taking it to Skuro right off the bat. And Shawnee, you know, a little animosity here by Shawnee, you know, the founder of the SFL, but a zero-time SFL champion. And uh, there has been a significant push to change the SFL to the Skuromezzo Football League and uh, strip Shawnee of his namesake um, just brutal. due to sheer dominance. So that, that will be something to look forward to in the future. Well, physics, you know, I, I'm realizing that the story of my kidnapping and my rescue, um, I think that I think I think that's better told dramatically. So I'm going to I'm going to hold off this week and uh, I'll put together a little video, a uh, little video package about the uh, the heroic rescue of Gorilla Mezzo next week. Uh, I, I couldn't I, I ran out of time this week. k k fame. And here we go. J5 in now. Comes up empty on Shawnee. How many times has that happened to him? Yep. You, you were just in Fault Force. You started the match. <laughs> <laughs> Tag me in. Hey, there, he's in, though. Uh, here he's we in go. Fall, he's in. The no, Dungeon folks, Master. You don't have to, yeah, you don't have to uh, adjust your TV sets. Uh, that is his natural skin tone. You're blown <laughs> pixels out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll give it to them. To, there's something they need. Something. Actually, the claw claw sounded like it was a pretty amazing show. Yeah, it was. I, I know amazing. it started half an hour late, but I was shocked to see it going on at like six thirty my time, which is like two hours of. <laughs> yeah, it, worked, <laughs> it was it a pretty, pretty long pretty show. Well. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, from a, a hastily like an absolute disaster to a hastily thrown together thing. Yeah. really good. Yeah. Something about not knowing if you can even run the game. 
five yes. minutes before the stream. <laughs> yes, yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we don't know what uh, what uh, Rude Ham has been up to in a long time, but they certainly have been practicing their tag team uh, repertoire, showing some really good tag acumen here. Tag, quick tags in and out, isolating their opponent. Obviously, J5 getting in here nicely with the suplex, but not going for the tag out to Skuro. And uh, we've seen multiple quick tags here. Probably comes another one by Shawnee to fall for us. Maybe. Maybe not. But uh, these two really do work together as a uh, as a duo quite well. Yes. Oh, so. Yes, they do. <laughs> and here we go. One more tag to fall for us. <laughs> He's mostly me fucking as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man. If you don't know that reference, oh, you're pretty out. lucky. Jackknife powerbomb. I don't know that reference. Oh, well, it's you're pretty D &D lucky. Thing. It is, yeah. It was Calcium's okay. first experience of, 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 of role-playing. Somebody tried oh, to do that God. to him. Oh, well, something woke try up It was probably the talk of uh, fucking animals. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Oh, no. Oh, he was going... Wow, he was going for the big choke slam there, but J5 countered into whatever that fucking was. <laughs> but it was... Uh, what it was was effective. And then he decided to do absolutely nothing up. And, oh, oh, no. Shake, rattle, and roll. We've seen this end matches for J5 before. Oh, boy. <laughs> That was a press, basically. Cut. Big pinning effort here. No one's coming in. Yeah, not even a two count. <laughs> it does look that way, physics. Yeah. Shocking. You guys. Uh, Shocking favoritism. You know, this was supposed to no. This is set up to be a tune-up match to try and get the winner three fives back on track after J five abandoned Skuro last week oh, yes, in yeah. a big tag match. Uh, you guys have a match later, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Pretty sure that the tent weaves have a have a trios match. Yeah. Trying to showcase our new trios division. But right now, it has been all rude ham, all things considered. Yep. But J five with a nice little flurry there to come back, and oh, he's uh, he's feeling it now. But he's got to stop the tagging, and he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Another shake right Oh dear, this is just spelling disaster. Yes, threesomes try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you not? Did, did you not see your previous th uh, th threesome partner try? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Instant win. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, they got. They, they must have gotten something going there. I think Fall Force might have gotten a little tired. Maybe the cardio uh, needs to pick up, and uh, a little less of the uh, the. <clears throat> the stretch wrestling that he and Shawnee have been practicing. <laughs> but a uh, quick pin, easy win. But honestly, the better looking tag team, and I hate to use the word better looking, <laughs> involving Fall Force and Shawnee, but they look like a tag team. Skuro and J5 still seem to be missing something, but they did get the win and they're looking okay right now. Yep. Two two shocking endings there. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, we're done wrestling now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go, folks. This is a big one. Muppet Pac-Man was the Plim Plum Pluserweight champion during the draft. Got himself uh, automatically picked over to stand firm. Moradam came in as a tag team with uh, his longstanding and legendary partner, Cocky. CBT both getting drafted over to stand firm. Moradam then used his first opportunity to win that title last Friday night during the draft. So now Muppet Pac-Man, this is a non-title match, but if Muppet Pac-Man wins this, he will get a rematch for the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship. Cocky will be ringside. Will he be uh, effective uh, as a manager? Obviously, he's more used to being a tag team partner. Will he be able to prevent himself from causing a DQ here? Because even a DQ win in Muppet's favor would get him a win and get him a rematch. Oh, very exciting. Unfortunately. A lot of ways. Yeah, a lot of ways Muppet could get himself a, a title shot. But he's got to win, and he's got to watch his, uh, his balls. 
That's the thing, unfortunately for him, Moridam's trademark ball shots are never called by the referees. There's a lot of bribes involved. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But what a legend in the Plim Plum Pluserweight division, you know. Muppet Pac-Man has done it all. I thought he was going to have a long title run with that belt, and, uh, you know, he secured himself the easy way into uh, top billing on one of the brands, but then lost it before we really even got underway. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> it's a great entrance in it, holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just better knowing that that entrance is normally done by like a 400 pound human. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Three. Look at that, that belt takes up most of uh, Moradam there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they don't have tag team titles to hunt for, so both uh, Mordam and Cocky are going to have to, uh, while, while we will have tag action, trios action, if they can find themselves a third, a lot of ways that they can excel and stand firm, but just pure tag team ain't one of them. Uh, so, you know, this uh, Plim Plum Bluesaway title looks pretty good around Mordam, and, you know, Cocky has a chance... Uh, Kaki has a chance uh, later on tonight to maybe get himself into the world title uh, run. We'll uh, talk more about it that when we get to the main event. But right now, he's going to look for, uh, for his little green buddy here to get a big win and secure uh, secure that title to not have to. Oh, what is this? Wow. He would love to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Classic, <laughs> dirty player there, Moradam with the with the cheap shot, and the match is underway. What a sneaky get! Um, Absolutely. <laughs> and yes, uh, Steve Motley, as part of the extensive, gigantic, monumental women's division, Sheila is in. Stamp is on stamp for now. Yeah, the women's division so big we forgot to even showcase them on uh, night one of the new stand firm. Whoops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh well. There's so many of them, it's hard to pick who to come in. It could be anyone like Tren, it could be anyone like Mrs. Wanger or Wendy. Like, there's so many women to pick from that are involved in the JFW. <laughs> there's Sheila, there's Theresa Mann. Yeah, yeah, so long as it's only four at a time at any given point, JBG. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one more, isn't there? Mia Khalifa, yeah, Mia Khalifa. Of course there's Mia, Mia, Mia Khalifa. Khalifa. Is, uh, is uh, Mrs. Ork Throw, or Mrs. Throw, is she still around? No, no, there's only six left now. <laughs> shocking, shocking she got deleted when we ran out of character space. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, if you'll excuse me one sec, I need you to cover while I refill my water. I'm losing my voice. Oh dear, thank you very much. Yeah, Jeff W. Yeah, long time sub me, Khalifa. Jeff W.'s biggest fan. Don't know if she actually watches, but you know, maybe she watches the VODs. You never know. The goblin guy is Moradam the Grimzilla. He is a literal fucking goblin. And, uh, <laughs> the women's division is as impressive as Skuros' SFL championships. Wow, try that. Just shows how much you respect. Skuros SFL Championships, they are of course very in incredible, the biggest uh, status symbol in Blood Bowl really is an SFL title and he's won three of them so wow you must really be a fan of the women's division, um, none of them have cat ears though that I know of so that's a little bit, ex that's a little bit interesting. Oh I'll try, that's really nice of you to say that, I'm sure <laughs> Skurametsu would, uh, would appreciate that. Yeah. I was gonna come back. Oh, yeah, I was gonna come back here and chastise you for probably doing the Chunter voice while I was gone, and then I heard you defending my honor, or Scarrow's honor. <laughs> definitely not mine, because I'm Gorilla Meso. We're yeah. definitely different people. Yeah, hundred <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent. Well, it looks like Muppet. Uh, Muppet really wants to get himself back into uh, a shot at this title. Um, as he's working over Moradam here pretty heavily, and he's fired up right now. Yeah. There's a there's a good chance, Penamu, that Mia Khalifa has watched as many VODs of the JFW as I have of her, because I have not watched any Mia Khalifa VODs, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, he watches the ones that aren't on Twitch. But I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure she's very good at what she does, but <laughs> not my cup of tea. 
I believe she's. Uh, I believe she is actually rebranding her career into something else now. I saw an article about that. Yeah. Well, speaking of rebranding, Muppet just got both of his testicles crushed <laughs> uh, after taking a self rock bottom. And Moradam, the champ, is here. Holy oh, crap! Boy, Look here out! We go. Look out! Is the ref going to call this? He's got him lined up there. Oh, oh the ref just couldn't quite see it. Oh couldn't my tell if it was God. a low blow or not, and that might have done it. No. No, Muppet somehow wriggles out of that one. Whew. A girl cow yeah, wrestler, girl Jesus wrestler. Christ. Try, try again. As much as much as we make a lot of uh, off comment or off color jokes and whatnot, this is not your uh, personal porn page. So we're not gonna have cow porn or whatever it is you're asking for there. Uh, there's other places on the internet that can uh, service you just fine. Yeah. <laughs> nice little maneuver off the top rope there by Mordam. No. I think he's got him. No, he's a late kick too. out. 2.994 on the count there. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, beautiful takedown by Muppet. And, oh, I thought he was going to retreat out, try and bait him out to Cocky, but no. Nobody got the, he we got to get jump Cocky some... Uh, we gotta get Cocky some blue underwear. Why? Because he's wearing claws colors. All right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but so's Muppet and so's Moradam. Yeah, I dived. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh no! Once again, that's two of those testicular claws. Moradam feigning, feigning like he's hurt there, so the ref. Uh, Got a little distracted once again, but Mordam showing some mercy here, not going going after him, going for a very... He probably had a three count here. Oh. Instead only got a solid two. Oh, but here's the big uh, one. Oh, no. Ref looking a little distracted oh. again. Oh, he just couldn't tell. Couldn't tell if he hit him directly in front of him there. <laughs> oh. And another kick out. Muppet has uh, balls of steel, apparently, <laughs> hanging on somehow because he knows if he doesn't win this, he's going to fall to the back of the line here and not get a shot at that title. So he really, really, really wants to win this match, but Mordem not making it easy if he's going to. Oh, look out. Mordem going to fly here. Whew. Dropping the elbow from the top rope. And another pinning attempt. Oh. <laughs> another kick out. He cannot get the three count on him. Unbelievable test. Deadly knee stomp. We've seen that in matches before, folks. <laughs> and here comes Muppet Pac-Man. Kicks him right in the taint. <laughs> and now Muppet gonna, oh, dangerous place for Muppet Oof. to go out. He might have caught Cocky in the head there. Cocky oh, didn't seem to care at all. Frog Big splash. frog splash. This could be it. Sure could. No, no kick out by Moradam. Cocky, yeah, again, Cocky used to being a tag team partner. Did not know what to do. Really needs to be distracting the ref right now to keep Moradam on top. But uh, here comes Muppet Pac-Man. One more time, he's going outside. I'm surprised he's doing this right in front of Cocky. Yeah, getting away with it as well. Oh! Oh, but he waited a little too long on that one. And uh, some sort of counter there by Moradam. <laughs> And that that could have been the opening that that uh, that Muppet let get closed, and uh, that might make this match out of reach. We will see. Although Mordam letting Muppet get back to his feet may be a mistake, and it sure was. Oh, I thought he was going to set up a six one nine then. Kind of yeah, shocked I did that he too. didn't. Oh, but the comeback is on nice. by Moradam. <laughs> Bicycle kick drops him. Nicely done. Oh, 
Oh, another <laughs> testicular claw. Another. Oh, my God. Oh, poor Muppet. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, indeed. Hung up on the ropes there, and here comes a pin. Oh, and he kicks him. out again. Ref maybe could have called a rope break there. His head was dangerously close to the ropes, but kicked out either way. But that Ooh. looks. And one more time. Good Lord, how much more can Muppet take it's here? It's got to be it. This has to be it. And it is. Moradam wins it in a slugfest. And uh, all of a sudden... The, the Plim Plom Pluserweight division is wide open. The former champ has fallen, and Moradam has sealed the deal here. So uh, we got, you know, we got two more shows before uh, before Hell in a Cell. What is the Plim Plom Pluserweight division gonna do about Moradam? Great question. Very excited to find out. Thought Muppet had won without Frog Splash. Unbelievable. Yeah, me too. I mean, in the end, it's just how it just one too many ball shots. <laughs> yeah. Muppet has got balls, but apparently only seven of them. He <laughs> <laughs> couldn't take too many. Oh wow! It's exciting now. It's the return. Oh, the finally, man, the myth, the, the legend. The grand return. Of Marcel McDaniels. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can't wait. I can't uh, wait. Me either. Marcel issuing an open challenge. We already saw one open challenge. We saw how it ended. Satterfield, new champ. Could the Marcel open challenge yield even greater uh, excitement? <laughs> Hard to imagine, but here you go. <laughs> the last pick in the draft is finally returning to in-ring action yes. right here right now yes definitely let's, gonna happen let's see uh georgia in the in the middle of the ring to announce this match yeah but help no one gives a flying fuck what you think so oh. you're fine wait a, oh, wait a my minute goodness. wait a second we've got we've got some action breaking out backstage <laughs> what the hell and, and again the the two tops of the women's division <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Wanger and Tren are attacking each other brutally backstage. Folks, we've seen them. We've seen this week in, week out. All of these uh, competitors in the women's division just cannot keep it in the ring. And you know what? I, I got to say, I'm, I'm, a little, uh, I'm a little sick. I'm a little sick of it if I'm being completely honest with you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let these women fight it out here. But I want both of these women at Hell in a Cell. And I want to make sure, I want to make damn sure that that fight happens in front of our proper broadcast cameras, in front of our in-arena audience. And I'm going to make that a Hell in a Cell match. Tren versus Mrs. Wanger, one-on-one, -on -one, Hell in a Cell. We're going to open the damn show with that match. Glorious. <laughs> Hello, Flicky. Yeah, Flicky. Exploder suplex there by Mrs. Wanger, and uh, yeah, they take taking this fight to the locker room. Dangerous, uh, dangerous spot. A uh, steel chair right there, waiting to be picked up. Will it be grabbed? Probably not. Oh, almost certainly not. <laughs> well, got to look your best, haven't you, Jeff? Well, <laughs> might have might have been uh, filming a video promo backstage. You, we saw you saw other interviews going on back there. We like to have our stars in their uh, in-ring kit when they do their uh, promos. Yeah. Say, motherfucker. <laughs> Well done, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice float over DDT right into that uh, carpeted uh, 10 feet of concrete backstage. Oof. Well, this isn't a sanctioned match, Jay Leaf. This one, uh, we're going to call this one when, uh, when, when one of the others can't uh, get up or if we can get this fight broken up. We're trying to get officials back there to break it up. But uh, slow to act right now. Oh, Marcel, another tit or drop. 
Oh, this Marcel is surely going to be in the ring it. still. Yeah, Tato drop coming right onto the concrete. That's got to oh, do it. God. Yep, and Tren puts out Mrs. Wanger. But Tren, I got news for you. I want a fair fight, and I want that to happen in the ring. So like I said, you've got two weeks to prepare for Hell in a Cell, one-on-one -on -one against Mrs. Wanger. There's no escaping that cell other than the multiple times people have escaped it. <laughs> yeah. And here we go. The trios match extraordinaires. We're having a, uh, we're having a return of the uh, tentacle loving weebs with Dio. And on the other side, it's Norse country, the returning thaw. That's right, all of them drafted in. We're going to kick off some trios action on Stan Firm. We're going to see a lot more of this type of stuff. And uh, I think these two teams have got something to put on display. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out in the ring in minutes. Yeah, if this was a, if this was a Blood Bowl match of trios, the Norse country would be absolutely fucked. But, see, but seeing as it's wrestling, anything could happen. <laughs> Well, well, Jack Bull, uh, to explain uh, Nick, uh, I'd have to uh, to explain why Nick looks different. I'd have to explain the laws of resurrection. <laughs> he was a zombie previously, and then he got resurrected back into the world of the living. And we just don't have the airtime to really cover um, to cover uh, all the changes. Mm. There actually isn't a potato sound effect. There's just everything except potato. <laughs> You should just record yourself dropping a potato on the kitchen floor. Yeah, just... it's, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's because he's a dickhead and he did a, a fucking grin, like a mad grin from ear to ear when he did the photo after, after I said, do it like this, not smiling or anything. <laughs> so he just did. <laughs> he gave himself a gigantic him. joke of smile. It's hard for him to not smile ear to ear when he looks to his left and his right, though. <laughs> Yeah. And there they are, the tentacle-loving weebs. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, they've been coordinating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. Howdy, Nick. He should really go back to being Gadea Nick, shouldn't he, at some point? But never mind. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and here they are. It is Norse Country. More Plovatch. Yeah, yeah, they know they know what they they know who really matters on their team. More Plovatch <laughs> and Space Cadet welcoming Thaw <laughs> back to the JFW. Four. You're welcome, everyone, because he didn't get to enter on his own, even though it's the best entrance in the JFW. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nick and Dio are the two most scary faces, yeah. <laughs> well, up, up there was just Joe, of course. I wouldn't call Joe's oh, face shit. scary. I'd call it comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Some people might think it's a bit scary. <laughs> When I'm when I'm really sad and I have a hard time coming, that's the only face oh that gets me through it. Oh my god! Coming to terms with my sadness. What did you think I said? <laughs> oh my god! Cool. <laughs> I and do Ken love the Norse coordinated body hair between Plovatch. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> Can Norse Country make a glorious return here? Obviously, the tentacle loving weebs have had a little bit more experience in the ring recently, <laughs> and we're gonna start it off. Try versus Space Cadet, and Try or Space Cadet bouncing off of Try there. <laughs> <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh dear, try. I'll try backing Space Cadet into the corner. It's been a bit bullied so far, Space. Sorry about that. I had to answer a question. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, space uh, not one to not one for uh, proper ball protection, but uh, this usually works out for him. And here you go. That's why you get an easy hit on the ball and you just somehow miss. And here comes Space Cadet. <laughs> no, 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 Tom Schnitz. No, he's not. D depends on your point of view, Tom Schnitz. <laughs> Some people might think yes. You have to project a little bit of uh, Tri's real human form uh, in, in how disturbing he is. Uh, no, knowing, knowing that we have this criminal cat rapist uh, <laughs> uh, amongst our community and we're generally okay with it. That, that, once you get past that point, Tri's pretty damn creepy, but not that creepy when you look at, like, I don't know, Fault Force or something. <laughs> <laughs> really doubling down on it. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Owning, owning, it, owning it is generally the way to make things uh, less appealing for others. <laughs> try, try telling that to the cats. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the sniper himself and the snipey. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. We saw, we saw, we saw quite a bit from these two back in the day. Dio versus versus Space Cadet. And Space Cadet getting one over on him there. He's gonna tag in more Plovatch. Twenty-five and five. Good fucking god. <laughs> oh, refs down. Yeah, that won't matter. <laughs> no, it won't. No. Mm -hmm. Ref uh, slowly back to his feet as more Plovatch taken over, stomping right on the leg of Dio, and then the big double stomp to the gut. Uh, careful there, he might spew some fuel if you hit his stomach too hard. Oh, baby. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> and tagging uh, wow Nick not tagging in yet but ooh, oh my goodness big kick to the face by try oh big miss though by try indeed Claw taking now, control. Oh, countered oh, with a my DDT. Goodness. Yeah, he was going to try and drive that Viking helmet into his gut and got DDT'd instead. And Try drags him in the center of the ring, but does not go for a pin. Nice to see Plaw back in the ring and Thor. Lovely bit of a resurgence. Maybe thanks to the terrible film, The Northman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the Space Cadet match! It is! <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen one of these. More Plovatch, pretty good at it, too. <laughs> is he going to go top rope? No, he's gonna, he goes in under the middle rope. <laughs> oh, he is going to go top rope. Yes. We're going to see that ridiculous elbow drop. Yes! Boosh! Boom! Oh, he hit him center mass! That could be it, but there's a, again, trios matches, it's hard to get a clean pin, and here's why. Yeah, instant. <laughs> Thaw took the long way there. <laughs> at least we get a good look at him now. <laughs> oh, he comes back. Yeah, try uh, Thaw going after Dio, oh. and sends him out of the ring, and now... Uh, Try is back on his feet, but more Plovatch. Oh, right. D Dio's the legal man. <laughs> no, no, he's not. No, try. Try's the legal try. man. And no, here Nick. comes uh, Howdy Nick. <laughs> what a maneuver there. Cross-legged cross, uh, cross -legged shin breaker. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Oof. Oh, 
running away, plow, good, good tactic. In comes Thor, boy howdy. And uh, yeah, the big, the big, uh, the big leader of uh, North Country gets deposited outside of the ring by the uh, the one true American, the day Nick. I mean, howdy, Nick. <laughs> Easy mistake to make. <laughs> oh, the Uranagi. Thaw looking a little slow and rusty here, and he's about to get Koala clutched. Oh, boy. And uh, submissions pretty dangerous in trios matches. Not usually broken up unless you can fight out. And Thaw is able to fight out of that one. Yeah. Kicks him right in the ass. <laughs> oh, look at the force as he sends Nick into the turnbuckle there. And now right into another one. And oh, in with the, the prettiest European uppercut in the JFW. Second. Ah, there's another one. Second. Just putting the exclamation part mark on it. No one does it better than Thaw. Only one does. And here we go, the burning <laughs> hammer of Thaw. Oh, my goodness, the burning oh. hammer. Oh, my gosh. Can the Norse countrymen uh, guard this pin? We don't have to. Oh, Nick no, kicks out. Nick able to kick out. They thought they had it. They didn't bother going in. Both sides confident here. And now Nick able to fight his way back towards some friends. Hanging Thaw up in the corner there. Oh, kick. Swift kick to the sternum. Savage. Dio looks like if you were watching like a super, super slow motion video of someone getting hit in the face by a two by four, and they picked one frame of it and froze it there right after the two by four connected with his face. Like that's what he looks like. It's just like his face is kind of moved off to the right, just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Oh, have you seen the pictures of those people getting kicked in the face in UFC? It doesn't look as bad as that at least. <laughs> Yeah, I mean I've seen that happens all the time. The the best are like body, like bo like skin, like when it ripples on like a chop in a wrestling photo too. Looks um, like their entire chest is caving in. Yeah. Oh, Alabama slam a by try, and he thinks that's gonna do it. But North Country right there did the ref didn't even get to count. If anybody hasn't seen it and wants to, there you go, guys. There was Tony Ferguson in his last fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that picture before. Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> oh my yeah, God, we God. have not seen. We have not seen Tross try small package in a long time. This would be a great, great moment for him to whip it out, though. Guess what, Gorilla? Nobody has. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the cats. <laughs> they don't see. They don't see it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, Penemu. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty brutal. And here comes Space Kid at trying to fight back against his arch nemesis. Oh, and he does. Beautiful uh, drop kick. I shouldn't have said the word beautiful there, but no, you no. know what I mean. Yeah, it was a move by space. So, you know, that's like a yeah. victory in its own way. <laughs> yeah. Put something together and didn't embarrass himself. Oh, look oh, out, the though. Oh, foot That is a beautiful submission, but Dio not letting him lock it in, keeping his uh, winning equity. Oh. Yeah, Dio loving his equity in this matchup in particular. Oh. 
Did you think it had changed since Jim just did it? <laughs> since when the match started. <laughs> I don't think they play it again. Oh, oh and it's the same the same drop kick maneuver, and that's what we expect from space, falling about a foot too short. How um, much fuel is left in the tank? That's a good question. I saw an ad for Huel the other day, but they were doing like regular food too now. Right. It's like weird. Kind of defeats the object, doesn't it? I thought so, yeah. <laughs> and they were just doing like food delivery of some kind. <laughs> and here comes the big man, Thaw. Can he close this match out? Maybe, probably had about an eight count on Dio there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. The force that he Ooh. just slammed Dio into the ring there. Oof. And a deadlift up here. Gut wrench. Suplex. Oh, look at this. Hangs on. He's going to do two of them. Oh. Maybe even three he is. My God. If he's got a pin here, if he can get protection, that's got to be it. <laughs> no, two count kick out again. No one really balking. Like, a lot of confidence on both sides here in the uh, in-ring performances of uh, uh, of these competitors. Mm. Uh, so to speak, Frost Lord, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that more when we get to the main event. But, yep, that is Oof. on the dock. And, oh, my goodness. Busted his head open on that burning hammer. And that is it. Oh, it is. Oh, it's... no. Wow. Space with the perfect interception on Nick. But yeah. somehow Dio kicked out. And Space going after Dio now. Oh, man. Norse Country really showcasing some uh, trio's uh, skills here. Mm -hmm. But they got to focus. They still got to try and get the pinfall and end this match. And, you know. Space is uh, currently a little <laughs> broken. <laughs> nope, there we go. We're used to seeing space with brainworms, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It is hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> oh, he was just trying to tell hard, everyone in that part of the audience how good Blood Bowl 3 is going to be. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this, though, by Dio. I don't even know what his finisher is. Neither do I. Oh, it's Dirty <laughs> Deeds. Done with oh, sheep. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Dirty Deeds done with Sheep, and it worked on the big Norseman. But Mora Plovatch was there to break it up. Nick a little slow. But Nick going to get some payback for it. And here comes Try. Everyone is hurting right now. Try getting a second win, though. He's seen the fur on the boots of Space and Plo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but will that... Uh, will that Will he be able to focus? Is the question. Doesn't That's look a good like question. it. Question. It might be. It might draw out a small package. Oh, look at this! Are we gonna see it? <laughs> no. No, we're not. No, we never oh, see oh, it. Oh boy. He. Yeah, you're right. He must have smelled some catnip because he's going ape shit right now. <laughs> I said catnip, not catnips. <laughs> Very good. Wow, easy kick out from Phil. Try to spend a little bit too much time having a fucking conniption fit in the middle of the <laughs> ring. Oh, look out! Oh my god. Look out, try! Oh my the god. Power. Oh my oh, god. Oh, what a slam! Incredible stuff. It is, but try so quick there with the kick. Caught Thaw out, and now we're going to see a hot tag in both directions. More Plovatch, Dio. Dio bleeding from the head. Maybe should have tagged in Nick. And uh, sure, sure enough, Dio was a little slow to respond there. But more Plovatch did not seem to have much of a plan. Oh, my goodness. Spiked him into the ring. Holy howdy. Oh, he speared him with that, that horned helmet, though. Oh, wow. 
Forcément. Yeah, Eric, a lot of blood flying in this one, and uh, Try tags back in, looking at Way! <laughs> Try, just a little bit of showboating there by Try, doing the zigzag into the end zone before he's even got the ball. <laughs> Pretty sus, if you ask me. Hello, Tim. Yep. Oh, how did that happen? God knows. More Plovach got Oof. through those ropes really quickly. <laughs> And here we go. Mora Plovac might want to think about tagging out. Space probably pretty fresh at this point. <laughs> A lot of blood flowing and not all of it is in dry small packs. Well, it doesn't take much to get that up. <laughs> No, Kekwudi. Oh, look out, though. Yeah, the Kekwudi. <laughs> Caught him in the back of the head. That could be it. He's a long way from help. Yeah. No. He got him, and the cat, the cat girl loving weaves are victorious in this trio's match. And again, you know, the, just as a tag team, uh, Nick and, uh, and Try have been pretty dominant for a while now. And uh, adding in Dio, you know, Norse Country with a great showing, but they probably got a little bit more to figure out as uh, this team without a celebration has won it. <laughs> yeah. Here are your winners. It's quite appropriate celebration though, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this face. <laughs> What almost improves it. <laughs> it really does, yeah. <laughs> Glorious. 21 5 5. Change the world. That's Change what I said. Norse, Norse country. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to say Cena tree. Just yeah. Norse country. Country, yeah. Norse country. <laughs> yeah. There's country. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, folks, here we go. It is now time for your main event, and there is a lot at stake here. Steel cage match, and like we saw at Backlash, the only way to win this one is to climb up and over and out of the cage. There will be only one winner out of these four, and that person will qualify to enter Hell in a Cell against Frost Lord Army for the World Heavyweight Championship. However... I want that match to be a four-way Hell in a Cell dance. So three of these four people will qualify in the coming weeks. Whoever wins tonight will not be in the match next week. And each time, the winner of that will get added. So one of these four will not make it to Hell in a Cell. The other three will. How are we going to get there? We got a lot of action. And this week, it's going to involve climbing out of a steel cage. I have never seen a multi-man cage match with climb out only. This could take five hours. It could, yes. This was maybe a silly one to try. <laughs> no, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing, guys. No, no. I know I know what I said. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you started it. <laughs> no, I said the word amazing. You yeah. can say amazing. Yeah. What an entrance this is. Cocky showing off his abs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen him enter alone in a while. Of course, his uh, tag team partner, Mordam, successfully uh, winning the, t the, the Plim Plum Plus Away title last week and then defeating <laughs> Muppet Pac-Man earlier tonight to push Muppet to the back of the line. Do not know what is in store for the Plim Plum Plus Away division, but we will find out in the coming weeks leading up to Hell in a Cell. Way frosty, yep. Hello, Santa. Brilliant entrance, this. I love this. From Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 264 pounds, Cobb Kitty. Satterfield, did you just get here, mate? You, uh, out celebrating your Wem Dope Championship win, surprise win at the start of the show. Answering Night Demon's open challenge, taking him on, weathering two or three zombies, and then 
hitting him with a snack mass and walking away with the title. Unbelievable, Jim. <laughs> Demi fucking G is here. <laughs> is he the kind of guy you want carrying your top title on a show? I don't know, <laughs> but he's going to have to go through the ringer to get it. I do not have a lot of faith that Demi is climbing out of this cage tonight, though. <laughs> Depends on how many beers he's drank. <laughs> he did take part in a multi-man cage match once before, didn't he? The uh, cage produce match between Lemon is Good and... Um, oh, God. Throw Egg and Nicolas Cage. <laughs> so he I does definitely have... don't remember that one. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a Hamageddon, I believe. <laughs> Ah, well, I'm unsurprised that I don't remember it. Yep. Dimmy! Yeah, SFL, SFL, nuclear glorious. This is my pick to win it all, baby. JBG, a former world champ. Can he get back to top form? got to go up and over a cage tonight to seal the deal he will have two more shots if he can't but he would love to get a couple weeks ahead of time to prepare a four-way hell in a cell match is going to be well hell in a cell yep it's ACK, so. i mean cargo bay <laughs> cargo <laughs> Jimmy recently said that Amazons and Calcium will never win SFL. I think, yeah, they probably won't. Because this, this season's going to take a year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. And I, I love boobies. <laughs> I think Calcium can win. I think Calcium can win SFL as long as it doesn't have to play me or Scurramezzo in the finals. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the fact there's probably only going to be one se more season of it, right? That's the thing. So it's a pretty safe bet, like saying anybody can't win in one season, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet against me. <laughs> well, you should. You've only won it three times out of eight. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, neck tattoo and all, squirrel dude. <laughs> Squire L dude. <laughs> also a uh, a pretty solid bet to be able to win a cage match. Yeah, very athletic. Probably the most athletic one of these uh, these competitors. Well, cer certainly ain't cocky and dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm only giving fake dimmy quotes. <laughs> oh, Todd. <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, you could also give me 10 and if that was the case, you know? 3589. <laughs> three, nah. What you need to do is make another another season 3, right? So you can be winner 5338. Three, three, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go. Again, the only way to win this cage match. Oh, why oh my goodness. My right off the bat. Only way to win this one is to climb up and over, and Cocky gonna punish JBG some more. Oh, and Squirrel! Oh my gosh, they're all starting off big. They all want to lock this in. This again, winning this match and knowing you've got a couple weeks to rest up and prepare for a title match at Hell in a Cell, a lot better than having to win the final stand firm two days before Hell in a Cell. It could be, yes, Tony, it could be. But at least you'll be able to say you were here on this day. <laughs> I love that we're going to all say that and JBG is going to win it right now. <laughs> that would be acceptable. Yeah. No, uh, up and over. Uh, escape the cage. So technically, yeah, the ref can't open the door for them. 
I think. I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All I know is they can't win by pinfall or submission in the ring. Dimmy gonna climb. Oh, He's Dimmy. not on a chair, so he might have an advantage here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oof. Oof. Long way down for Dimmy, and look out! <laughs> He's gonna get cutter, good cut. Maybe. Sure is. Oh, Cocky oh. might be in the way. Cocky got in the way of it. Oh, oh God. Oh. Some blue Grand balls there ones. on JBG. Oh, Cocky's gone for it. Oh, Squirrel right on the case. <laughs> Squirrel could have a chance here, though. Everyone kind of staggered. Nope, never mind. Thought if he brought Cocky down quicker, maybe. Yep. <laughs> What is the emotions. crispy sound effect? <laughs> it's, a, it's a new one from Druzy. Trend is I actually can't a potato. And that if you were to deep fry Trend. Oh, Dimmy uh, didn't go up and nice over this time. Potato. He turned around. Squirrel thinking about it, but here comes Dimmy fucking G. Hey. Oh, and here we go now. Cocky might have a shot here. He's wearing flip-flops. Not the best cage climbing uh, footwear you've ever seen. <laughs> and here's where it gets exciting, folks, because when there's two... Oh, uh, Dimmy does not know how to climb a cage. Oh, look at this. It's a race to the top. Oh, wow. It's a race to the top. Dimmy's there, but here comes JBG. Can oh. he get him? JBG catching him. This actually could end up being a cool match. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cocky's going on his own on the other side. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're not paying attention to Cocky. He might. No. No. no he's, he's giving like, up. He doesn't think he can do it. No, he doesn't get him to unlock the door. He's having to unlock the door. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Squirrel. Squirrel's got D. Oh, Amazing. Oh, my goodness. What carnage. Cocky, the only way to walk away from any of that. Now he's going to try again. Again, not the proper footwear for climbing a cage. Can't find a foothold and, and uh, Squirrel Dude able to get over to him. Yeah, Squirrel Boy's got these kick pads on, hasn't he? It's not going to be easy for him. You've got to look at JBG and, and Dimmy as the, is the favorites, actually. This <laughs> is fucking inching over to him. <laughs> oh, here we go, though, Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy. Oh, Oh, wow. oh my goodness, and dragged off the side again, and everyone back in the ring here. Uh, Kaki might have had a quick escape if he'd stayed by Foot the door. Off, yeah. Oh, Jimmy G, yep, just going for the climb. Oh, Squirrel Dude didn't notice. Oh. Got distracted by Kaki, and that could give him the foothold to boost up and over, and it does. It no does. Boy. Is anyone going to go for JBG here? They're running out of time. It's going to take him a long time to find his foothold for some reason to get over that top. <laughs> and Dimmy right there, and he punches him and somehow punches him back into a safe position. <laughs> JBG could have literally just lifted his leg and fell, but instead, JBG... I mean, I don't think he wants to Dimmy. fall. <laughs> well, yeah, fair enough. If it gets him a title shot, maybe. But wow. Squirrel Dude now. Oh, Squirrel Dude's up. Oh. Squirrel Dude's up. Can he get up and over? Oh, wow. Dimmy driving JBG into the into the steel cage. Dimmy might get this now. Cocky, cocky on him on the other side here. And Dimmy. Dimmy's at the top. No one's there. Oh, Dimmy's going to win this. Dimmy. He streams after midnight. <laughs> Let's oh no, go. Those jort the jorts are making it hard for him to get his leg up and over, and here comes JBG. Dimmy's Is it too late? It. It's too oh, late! Oh, Dimmy. Dimmy's done it! Dimmy. Dimmy fucking G has just won his way to hell in a cell. Maybe. There you Dimmy. go. Dimmy has gotten out Dimmy fucking G versus Frostlord Army in a hell in a cell match. We've got two more competitors out of the three remaining here that will be oh, in that hell in a cell match. Glorious. What a win for the champ himself, Demi fucking G. Yeah, it was a great match as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, that stipulation kind of works. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. I'm sure we'll see that repeated ten times on Claw now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And folks, that's going to do it. Demi, one of the first of three others to win his way to Hell in a Cell to challenge Frost Lord Army for the world title. We saw a new Wemdope champion crowned in Satterfield, and we saw Moradam uh, eliminating uh, Muppet Pac Man from contention for the Plim Plum Blues Away title match, and so much more. Welcome to Friday. Stand firm. We got a lot more for you in the coming weeks. But as for tonight, that is going to do it. And thank you all so much for having me. And thanks for joining us, everyone. My name's Gorilla Mezzo, and I will see you all next week. Glorious. Thanks so much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.